And welcome back to RimWorld, where we're not going to be making any of these. I decided I better look these up because they seem way too good to be true. Uh, items stored in this will not deteriorate even if outside. It's really good, I mean, that they don't deteriorate. You can put them outside, but it only holds two weapons. So if you have to, put one of these out there so that somebody... Say you had an emergency and you needed a rocket launcher. Well, then you have, you have this outside with some rockets and bam, you're ready to go. But otherwise, um, it's not as useful. I thought it'd store like tons and tons of stuff, but it doesn't. So we got people being idle. We got research needs to be done, but we don't have anything to really to research. Right now, we're trying to get our food up there. When we're finally getting some rice going. But right now, I want them to be able to mine this out. And uh, this, we want to get going too. But first... I almost made a mistake here. We got all this outdoor stuff, and I was going to leave this exposed to the weather, and I don't think we want that. And also, the weather. Um, I can't close this off because of the sunlight, so I think the temperature would kill the plants off. So we're going to build them up here someplace, probably. Then again, I could put them in here, but we have so much juice going there. We need more electricity. Could we wall this off temporarily? trouble is defending it. I'd have to put turrets down there or something. I think we're going to make this into like a food production area. I mean, we got two geothermals. We could do lots and lots of food down here. We could put turrets to defend it. Then again, we have this one set up already, but it's not the best. Well, if we put one here and one here, we put some backup power, some source like that. I don't know. We had two more spots with geothermals close to them. That's kind of a handy spot for production. Well, we'll see. We will see. All right, let's go ahead. We need some miners going. Do we not have any miners? Dawn is performing st st stuff. Mining. Mm, it is pretty low. Growing's kind of important right now. Crafting's done. We already got blocks. Let's make you H bomber more into mining. Yeah. Why is that one keep popping up? I know that. I guess since you have no construction, you shouldn't mine. I don't know why you guys don't want to mine us. Pretty sure I got it set up. Let's double check. Clear. Maybe I told him to like chop wood or something. I don't know. I could have done that. Okay. Like so. I'm gonna go pretty good size here. Cause we need the space. Except for here, I think we'll probably. I don't want to get too much in this. I mean, I could wall this off and move that thing out of the way, but it's too much resources invested in it. Also, thinking of security, do we want more turrets in place? I could put one over here. We have enough uh, power. It would be a good flanking spot. I have this turret covering this spot. This turret's covering this spot. I could put one out here too. Hmm. I wonder if I should double up on this power as well. Like, I'd like to keep them kind of close to... Well... Where's the power grid going? I could maybe put it in here. And it would produce heat if we needed it. I could. No, wait, no. That's hooked up there. Hmm. I could put it over here. I could put a little wall. Let's do that. Let's do... Well, no, that's going to be growing one day. I don't know. I should really put some extra power... I think we're fine. Let's go ahead and speed things up. Everybody's asleep. Except for Dawn. What is Dawn doing? Building a snowman. Dawn, what the heck? You're so weird today. You should be asleep right now and you're wanting to build a snowman instead. You know how cold it is? It's three degrees outside, dude. Oh, now you're healed. Now you're going to go sleep. Holy cow. Ooh. Oh, here we go. A trader from... Kai Oga Ingo is approaching. They will hang around the colony for a few days. Um, darn it. Wait, no, wait, no. Yeah, they're trading. Jump to location. Hopefully they got meat. They got a bunch of animals. Holy cow, look at all the hairs they got. Speaking of animals. Any more muffalo showed up? I have to remember that. Next, I can't. Well, it makes sense now. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh my goodness, there is. There's a bunch of elk over there. It must be getting close to um, spring for them to be coming back. 
I didn't think about it, but it makes total sense that the animals will just all disappear. Alright, H bomber. Double check. Yes, yeah, social is ten. I want you to chat with Born here. And see if they want it. Oh, they do. They might want some of our junk. I have 1,143 pieces of wood. That's redonkulous. Um, excuse me. Let's go ahead. Can I just type this in? Uh, I want to type. I just want to type. Um, no, I don't want to get all though. That's too much wood. No. No. One second, we're gonna get this. <laughs> I thought you could type in this things. Maybe you right click? No, that doesn't work. They should be able to type. Alright, instead we have to do this way. I wanna get rid of at least 143. I like even numbers sometimes. Plus that's quite a bit of wood that we don't really need. 143 wood, that'd give us 44. Uh, I gotta keep the sandstone blocks. You don't have any more to offer. You have steel, but uh, I don't know if I want to buy steel. I mean, that's a 132 a pop. That's a lot. Jade. Oh, plasteel. You know what? I mentioned this before. We have no plasteel that I found, but I don't really need it. I mean, turrets would be nice, but until I figure out how we really want to build stuff, it's not going to be really useful. Uh, herbal medicine's too expensive. Oh wait, no, that's too bad to buy or sell. Let's go ahead and buy some just in case. We're only down to four. No, that is the buy. That's a horrible price then. Let's not do that. Red means bad. Oh, he go oh here we go. Let's get rid of all the bear skin. We want lots of hide. And we're going to kill the elks. We're going to get more of that. We'll keep the beaver skin. Just because... It might be cheaper here, but if a space guy comes by, he might be able to buy it. Look at that. 87 for all the muffalo. We'll keep that too. Let's get rid of the squirrel skin. I don't need that much. Camel hair? We might need that. That could make some good wear. We'll keep uh, kind of building that up. Wait, no, camel hair. I'm thinking alpaca. Because usually worn by desert travelers, protect them from the heat. Or excellent insulation due to its thermostatic properties I want to say that's supposed to be for heat and not cold let's get rid of that then components uh, chicken egg unfertilized I don't need that <gasps> food holy cow 500 359 if I bought all their corn grizzly bear meat is 220 232 for monkey meat I'm not selling any of my meat Polar bear meat is 253 as well. And then I'm not even going to bother buying all these hairs. Like, I don't know. I think if they breed, it's only one or two, unless it's different. Maybe they have multiples. This hardy animal survives the bitter winters of the north by burrowing through snow and finding prey underneath. Wait, what a second? <laughs> Why does a hare find prey? The herbivores, I thought. These are vicious bunnies through snow and finding prey underneath. Or hibernating the worst months away. Hmm. That's too much, too. It's 35 bucks. They wouldn't provide much meat. If anything, we could try taming our own hairs. Maybe it's realistic where, like, if they, you know, they breed a lot and they make lots of bubby, uh, baby hairs, <laughs> then it might be worth having, like, a bunch of those. Otherwise, they have nothing we have. Ugh. Alright, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of the beaver skin. To be honest, I probably won't ever find that ever again. And we might as well sell it while we can. And let's get some more food while we're here. Let's go ahead and get... Let's balance this out some. I want to make sure we have plenty of food. Let's bump it to 150. That gives us 50. That's pretty good. Alright. I'm really hoping somebody wants our clothes one of these days. Okay, where did it all go? Oh, it's way on the floor over here? Alright, H-Bomber. H-Bomber, go pick up all the corn that they just dropped. Thank you. Oh, look at this! We got rice, guys. 
and then Dawn just ran right in without hauling every mm. single piece in there. Break down, steal improvised turrets. Oh shoot. Let's jump to the location. This one hasn't even been used and it broke. <laughs> it's fine. Tubs is on top of it. Alright, perfect. So we got uh, we got rice going. We need this to get mined. Somebody's already been starting. Let's do Let's do it while it's daytime. Everybody, let's do a hunting trip, guys. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and get uh, you up here. Let's get you behind cover. Pygo is going to go here. Dawn's going to go here. H bomb is going to go there. Oops. No, 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 no. Go here. And Tubbs is going to go here. That way, nobody can shoot each other, hopefully. Let's shoot as many of these before it gets too cold. Because it's still the 13th of winter, so we still got a little bit of time to go. Alright. DJ actually can just go stand over there. And Dawn. You don't really need to be behind cover, but it just helps. Okay. Go ahead. Actually, that's a horrible spot for you. H-Bomber just might hit you with that one. Okay. Go ahead. B. And B. Oh wait, Don's not doing anything. There we go. <laughs> B. And B. And B. <laughs> we're being the heck out of these things. Good. What's this? Poor mood. Okay. And then B one more time. I take the back. You didn't finish that one off. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, unforbid all those. That's such a massacre. Prioritize. Prioritize. And prioritize. And then they just drop your foot. I wish they didn't do that ever again. That could get fixed too. <laughs> I don't know why. They can't just put it back where they put had it before. They always have to just throw it on the ground. Alright, on the edge. Oh, shoot. I think we need more happy things. We could do that. What could we... This isn't too bad of a spot. Let's do that. Let's put the happy stuff in here. Let's do... We can do a chess table. I completely forget that they get bored after a while of doing horseshoes all the time. Let's do a wooden one right here and then we'll put some furniture next to it uh, no 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 wood there we go boom boom you know what let's do two that way more people can have some fun billiards table is a little big but they can do that tomorrow and then we can have you know what let's go ahead and let's do oh my gosh Let's do a little bit more joy time for everybody, too. I don't want any more people going berserk. Animals, pasture, okay. They're good. They're leaving. Pygo is cooking a simple meal. Where the heck? Oh, you guys left all this meat out here. Just pack that in. It's cat meat, I know, but we need to eat it. More compacted steel, more of that. Poor mood. Pygo. Needs. Oh, totally joy deprived. Tired. Feeling bad. In a little pain. In the darkness. Worrying. Wearing. Well, it's because it's dark. Go to sleep and you'll fix half those problems. <laughs> Everyone else went to sleep, but you decided you wanted to cook up some cat meat in the middle of the night. Okay. I hope all this blood washes out by springtime. <laughs> Look at all the... Oh my goodness. We need more storage. We might have to do more storage in here too. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and have somebody mine this out when they're not doing anything else. Still taking forever to do that part, but that's fine. Um... Oh my gosh. All these clothes are going to go horribly, horribly bad. What if... Let's do this for temporarily until we get that done. This is going to take forever. Let's do a stockpile in this hot, hot room. And let's go ahead and set this to critical just to get it all done. Clear all. And we want 
apparel and weapons that are on the floor. And then somebody should be able to pick all that stuff up and put it in there before it goes bad so we can get at least some coin out of it. Did he pick up all that cat meat? No, there's still quite a bit down there. Low food, new research, that's fine. We did pretty good though. That was uh, I'm glad we did rice. Cause look at this, potatoes. Uh, they're not in the light, of course, but they're still taking a while. Hay grass takes quite a while. Okay. Cook up all this meat. We get that going, perfect. So we got people mining. Hopefully one day. Party! Oh, this is gonna help. Dawn is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will join, uh, gain joy and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. We need that so bad. Look at this. I already got a party spot. Okay. Go ahead and haul that off. Let's see. This is for textiles, which was like a horrible idea. Let's maybe make this like the plant and this will be for the meat. That way when we start making the advanced, I'll automatically know if we need more meat or if we need more plants. Poor Mood Dawn, we'll throw that party already, man. <laughs> Let's make this textiles too. Critical. Let's see, resources. Manufactured? Yeah, textiles. We'll go ahead and turn this one off. Let's see. Nope. And then we're just gonna do foods, raw foods, and we'll make this. No, let's do the vegetables. Vegetables and animal products. If we ever get cows or anything, go ahead and haul that off. And we'll make this just meat. What is this middle section? That could all be... I don't need those anymore. Let's do... Let's see, that's for meals. Let's do bodies. Oh shoot, that's not good. Corpses. Let's do more animal storage, just in case. Alright, what's happening now? Prison break? What the heck? Prisoners have staged... Oh, that's right. I wanted to get rid of somebody, too. They're eating too much food. They've somehow defeated the door lock and they are making their way out. They see may seek weapons, fight, or just try to escape. The prisoners are involved. Lear. Do we want Lear? I think Lear is the one I didn't even care about. Go. Go for it, Lear. Run. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I wanted to get rid of you anyways. Character, yeah, all you had was cooking and medicine. I have both of those covered. Social, I don't need. Melee, I would prefer somebody who could shoot. Crafting, I don't need. Yeah, just run for it, man. Have fun wherever you may go. I don't care. <laughs> At least he didn't try to kill us. First prison break, though. That could have been bad. Like, if you put that, say, in your base and you have your weapons nearby, I think they would have more uh, been inclined to try to get them. But luckily, I had him far enough away and he was out to the surface, so he didn't need to fight his way, so he just ran. Oh, <gasps> more elk. Alright. We might have to go kill them. Look at this. We got lots of meat, but we could always use more. Let's go ahead and expand the storage, too. Stockpile. Boop. Okay, so the textile should go here. All the gear and stuff should go there. Let's prioritize somebody for packing up stuff. Hauling. Uh, Dawn's busy growing. Kaigo's busy cooking. Let's do... You're busy mining. Let's do this. Let's get a... Uh, if you're not building or plant cutting, DJ, I want you to haul. Because I honestly, I don't have anything to do. I've got uh, the houses built. we got this mining. H-bombers on top of that. Look at all this stuff going. Orders. All, all that so we can make more blocks. In fact, I could queue that up. We could hold a lot of blocks in that spot. Okay. I think we'll hold off on the elk for now. We got quite a bit of meat. And we got vegetables off the wazoo. Look at all that rice. <laughs> 
That's so much rice. It's not even registering because there's no stockpiles in here. I mean, it's not a lot compared to some other stuff you harvest, but it's quite a bit. Alright, anything else we should be mining besides... Oh, we have no components again? No, we have 30 components. 514 steel. Oh, I know. We should be getting this going. As soon as... Let's see. Could you finish this part? Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Never mind. That's a horrible spot. What did we need? Production. Hydroponics. Oh, that's quite large. I would have to go all the way over here. So instead of that one, go after this one. I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Look at this. More steel. We could always wall this off, too. Make this a natural room instead of a cave. That might be something to do. You know, I mentioned how there's bugs now. And if you dig deeper into areas... Um, oh, good. Poke's good, trader. That uh, you're more likely to have bug spawn. So I'm thinking there's a kind of a way around it is if you maybe... You know, remove everything that reminds you of as a cave. You know, remove the walls uh, gradually and replace them with blocks. Um, you know, remove the flooring so it's not floors. It's, you know, stone floors. It could be wood floors, something like that. I think there could be maybe something to that. What can we get rid of? H-bomber. H-bomber is going to mine. No, you're going to go talk to these people. So we can get rid of this stuff. I have too much junk. Just sell it all. Half off. Oh shoot, I forgot. There's no thingy in there. Disease? Oh shoot, Tubbs has gotten sick from the flu. Alright, Tubbs. You're gonna be getting... Oh my gosh, we need more medical. Okay. Boom. What do we get to get rid of? Oh, we got lots of gold too. I can get up more wood. No. For some reason, we've lost quite a bit of wood. <laughs> well, we lost like a thousand, five hundred wood almost. Let's get a couple beers. I last resort. Wait, do they have chocolate? Never mind. Let's not get cho beer. Chocolate is much cheaper. Yeah, let's get some chocolate. I mean, I can make beer if I really wanted to, but we're trying to survive. <laughs> they eat like I think it's. At least five pieces, I want to say. So let's get 25. That's five times they can eat chocolate. Tortoise egg fertilized. If all goes well, it should hatch into a baby tortoise. It can be eaten raw, but it's much better cooked. Does that mean we get a tortoise, though? Or do we have to still tame the tortoise? Hmm. Well, let's just try... They don't want any of my clothes, gosh darn it. Hops, that's to make beer. Do they have any medicine they have to... What's this? Why do we have... Two different types of medicine. One's six and one's two. Two is better. Maybe it's better conditioned. Maybe it's gone down some. They don't have anything else. And it's $34. No. Thank you. Let's see. Muffalo components. I could sell some components. Elk hide didn't seem to make any difference depending if you sell it to somebody living on the planet or not. Um, I don't think we need any meat. What's a mega spider? Mega spider meat. I've never he I've never even seen a or heard of a mega spider. What do we do? We need anything else besides chocolate? <laughs> I got food now. I can't get the medicine. That's way too much. I'm kind of tempted to try out this. It's only 16.23. There's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. 99 tortoise eggs? Like, if we could get this tortoise and we got, like, say... You know, five or six eggs. And half of them were females. Females would continue laying eggs and we could get food from those. Let's do that. Let's get a couple. I can sell some gold. Let's get... Well, not a couple. Let's get... Let's get six... We could always breed them if we want to. And let's go ahead and sell some gold. I don't need it. Let's just do this a little bit. Let's get rid of uh, 30. That way I don't have to pay too much. And I can still... I like. I should probably make stuff out of it. And then I make more money that way. I just wish somebody would buy all of our stupid clothes we stockpile. <laughs> 
All right, where's these eggs? DJ, I want you to... Oh, shoot, where are we going to put these? Egg progress. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's... Oh, where do I want to put them? I think I want to put them... In here? Yeah, I want to put them in here. I don't want to put them in the cooler. They might die. Animal products. Unfertilized eggs. There we go. Let's. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, unfertilized. Let's put the fertilized. And let's stick them in here. And hopefully they don't spoil. Stick them right there. This will be... Critical. Clear all. And fertilized eggs. There we go. Now we have a spot to put them. And then Dawn, I want you to yeah, tend to them. And then I want you to prioritize hauling the chocolate so we can forbid it. For emergency purposes only. Do not eat the chocolate. And now we just watch these. Oh it is, it's going up. Good. Okay. We could try getting turtles. See, I want them in here. That way in case we don't automatically tame them. I don't know how it works. I've never had eggs. Spring has begun. Oh, thank goodness. That way, uh, if they're stuck in here, we have time to try to tame them before they escape somehow. And at least they can get to some foods. I could always put some foods out there. Oh, thank goodness. It's spring, guys. The first day of spring. Hallelujah. We made it. Uh, clear. We don't need this anymore. Waste of time going and clearing snow when there's no longer going to be snow, hopefully. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That means we get to see the ground and I can figure out where we want to do it. Like, I'm thinking we're going to wall this off. We can build some more storage here right off the bat. That might be the quickest route. This, this mining is taking way too long. <laughs> way too long. Can put a hallway right here. Let's start planning that out before I forget. Collins needs treatments. Tubs, get back to bed, Tubs, gosh darn it. Okay, before I forget, now that they've got H-bombers on top of that, let's get production. And let's get one of these, and let's maybe get some medicine, and yeah, we've got food. Let's get medicine going. This will be a good test run, too. And I think we're going to expand this off, now that we got more storage. Structure, yeah, I was in the right spot. Granite blocks. I'm thinking we're going to put another solar panel or two. Because this is going to drain during the night, especially with these going. I think we'll probably do that. So what do we need for space orders? Planning. Four. So we need another four. So that means the wall's going to be here. Still lines up with that turret pretty good. We might as well build it up to there. So that I got lots of room to work with there. Okay. Orders, structure, granite. Boom. And then we're going to deconstruct this. That. It's going to take forever. All that. Okay. We're going to build as much as possible. Clear out the trees. Build, build, build. Try to get corridors. That way people are like... I'm lucky. We got really lucky that... I mean... <laughs> I should say we got extremely lucky that winter. We didn't die from random stuff. We didn't run out of food by miracle. Uh, only one person got sick and it was like the very last few days. So, I mean, if it was colder, we would have had worries. Like, we're going to get structures going so that we don't have people outside all the time. We got to get more food production so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And then we also want to... Um, get more clothes going. We're just gonna have to make our own clothes so that they're better conditioned because people keep complaining about that stuff. Group of from the people seem to have a few items to trade. Okay. Please buy my clothes. <laughs> They're taking up viable space that I want for other things. Go ahead and chop down these trees too. Oh shoot. Oh, shoot, this is never good. Alright, this is our first time I think we've had this. I've had it multiple times on other games. 
Shh, time is shh. This is critical po information. Critical announcement. A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind, extorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard AI persona with psychic projection ability, and this AI is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible. And it is catching stuff on fire. Sweet. And that's what we get to deal with next time, guys. So what this thing is, I'll get into more of it, but basically it's not good. We have to open this thing up, and once we open it, something bad comes out, if not more. And uh, we have to defeat it before it kills us, and this is, causes more trouble. So we got to start, put out the fires, we're going to have to build turrets, put a geothermal there so we can power set turrets. Hopefully we can get this giant group of people to help join us. Maybe they can help fight it with us. That could be a thing. And I will see you guys next time. Like...